morning, White Cat. This is Mr. Day Inca. I'm going to be reading Mouse Tales by Arnold Lobel. Papa, we are all in bed now, said the mouse boys. Please tell us a tale. I will do better than that, said Papa. I will tell you even seven tales, one for each of you, if you promise to go right to sleep when I am done. Oh yes, we will, said the boys. The Wishing Well A mouse once found a wishing well. Now all of my wishes can come through, she cried. She threw a penny into the well and made a wish. Ouch, said the wishing well. The next day, the mouse came back to the well. She threw a penny into the well and made a wish. Ouch, said the well. The next day, the mouse came back again. She threw a penny into the well. I wish this well will not say ouch, she said. Ouch, said the well. That hurts. What shall I do? cried the mouse. My wishes will never come through this way. The mouse ran home. She took the pillow from her bed. This may help, said the mouse, and she ran back to the well. The mouse threw the pillow into the well. Then she threw a penny into the well and made a wish. Ha! That feels much better, said the well. Good, said the mouse. Now I can start wishing. After that day, the mouse made many wishes by the well, and every one of them came true. Clouds. A little mouse went for a walk with his mother. They went to the top of a hill and looked at the sky. Look, said mother, we can see pictures in the clouds. The little mouse and his mother saw many pictures in the clouds. They saw a castle, a rabbit, a mouse. I am going to pick flowers, said mother. I will stay here and watch the clouds, said the little mouse. The little mouse saw a big cloud in the sky. It grew bigger and bigger. The cloud became a cat. The cat came nearer and nearer to the little mouse. Help! shouted the little mouse, and he ran to his mother. There is a big cat in the sky, cried the little mouse. I am afraid. Mother looked up at the sky. Don't be afraid, she said. See, the cat has turned back into a cloud again. The little mouse said that this was true, and he felt better. He helped his mother pick flowers, but he did not look up at the sky for the rest of the afternoon. Very tall mouse and a very short mouse. Once there was a very tall mouse and a very short mouse who were good friends. When they met, very tall mouse will say, hello, very short mouse. And, a, and very short mouse will say, hello, very tall mouse. The two friends will often take walks together. As they walk along, very tall mouse will say, Hello, birds. And very short mouse will say, Hello, bugs. When they pass by a garden, very tall mouse will say, Hello, flowers. And very short mouse will say, Hello, roots. When they pass by a house, very tall mouse will say, Hello, roof, and a very short mouse will say, Hello, Sila. One day, the two mice were caught in a storm. Very tall mouse said, Hello, raindrops, and very short mouse said, Hello, puddles. They ran indoor to get dry. Hello, ceiling, said.
said the very tall mouse. Hello, floor, said very short mouse. Soon the storm was over. The two friends ran to the window. Very tall mouse held very short mouse up to see. Hello, rainbow, they both said together. The mouse and the winds. A mouse went out in his boat, but there was no wind. The boat did not move. Wind, shouted the mouse. Come down and blow my boat across the lake. Here I am, said the west wind. The west wind blew and blew. The mouse and the boat went up in the air and landed on the roof of a house. Wind, shouted the mouse. Come down and blow my boat off this house. Here I am, said the east wind. The east wind blew and blew. The mouse and the boat and the house went up in the air and landed on the top of a tree. Wind, shouted the mouse. Come down and blow my boat off this house and off this tree. Here I am, said the south wind. The south wind blew and blew. The mouse and the boat and the house and the tree went up in the air and landed on the top of a mountain. Wind, shouted the mouse. Come down and blow my boat off this house and off this tree and off this mountain. Here I am, said the north wind. The north wind blew and blew. The mouse and the boat and the house and the tree and the mountain went up in the air and came down into the lake. The mountain sank and became an island. The tree landed on the island and burst into bloom. The house landed next to the tree. A lady looked out of a window in the house and said, what a nice place to live. And the mouse just sailed away. The journey. There was a mouse who went, wanted to visit his mother. So he brought a car and started to drive his mother to his house. <clears throat> the old mouse. <clears throat> there was an old mouse who went for a walk every day. The old mouse did not like children. When he saw them on the street, he shouted, Go away, horrid things. One day the old mouse was taking his walk. All at once, his suspenders broke and his pants fell down. Some ladies came by. Help, help, cried the old mouse. But the lady screamed, your pants are falling down, and they ran away. The old mouse ran home and cried, help me. But his wife only said, you look silly in your underwear, and gave him a hit on the head. The old mouse began to cry. Some children passed by. Poor old mouse, they said. We will help you. Here is some chewing gum. It will hold your pants up very well. Look, cried the old mouse. My pants are up. This chewing gum is great. These pants will never fall down again. Those pants never did fall down again. And after that, the old mouse was always kind to children when he went for his walk. The bath. There was once a mouse who was dirty, so he took a bath. The water filled up the bathtub, but the mouse was still dirty, so he let the water run over onto the floor. The water filled up the bathroom but the mouse was still dirty. 
So he let the water run out of the window. The water filled the street, but the mouse was still dirty. So he let the water run into the house next door. The people in the house next door cry, turn off the water. We have had our bath today, but the mouse was still dirty. So he let the water run all over the whole town. The people in the town cried, turn off the water. You are very clean now. The mouse said, yes, you're right. I am clean now. So he turned off the water. By then, the town was all wet. But the mouse did not care. He rubbed himself with a big towel until he was very dry. And then he went right to sleep. Is anybody awake? said Papa. There was no answer. Seven small mice were snoring. Good night, my boys, said Papa, and sleep well. I'll see you all in the morning.